Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> so this video starts off with me um, at the beginning of my um, shopping at the Amish store. I usually start at this aisle. I don't know where the video went showing me going into the store, but um, that's not important. You're going to have to use probably earplugs or turn your volume up because my camera is the cheap $40 one from Walmart, so I don't have that great sound that my other camera did so um yeah it is what it is guys it's just what i have for now so um i hope you can hear it all right thanks for watching hey everybody um so we are at the discount store the amish one that i come to all right we'll see you in a minute and um my goodness you guys look at this this is chef boy rd meat meatballs 60 cents can y'all see that 60 cents i don't know if you can see that or not but look at this sarkis tuna this has an expiration of 2024 50 cents a piece i just bought 150 of chicken and they don't expire for a year so and then we got um Corn, corn for 50 cents, condensed milk, 80 cents, and these are big cans. These are 13.4 ounces. Um, I got some uh, cornbread stuffing mix just because I wanted to make something special tonight. 40 cents for some crushed pineapple. Anyway, um, oh look at this. These are the double... The big old cans of sandwich mix, dollar twenty-five. This is a big giant can, not the little one. Okay, so they have these little guys, and they're fifty cents. These ain't gonna, that won't even fill up Jeremy. So look at this big old can of whole to, or tomato sauce, ninety cents. I'm gonna take that because I'm gonna thinking I'm gonna make a batch of uh, spaghetti sauce. Roast, fire roasted, 75 cents. Tomato sauce, 50 cents. These are the big cans of tomato sauce, you guys. Let's see, 50 cents for the big ones. These are 15 ounces. They've got chicken soup for 75 cents, but I'll buy them sometimes because I like them. But for the most part, um, I make my own. I like my own soups. And I would clear the shelf of all them spaghetti meatballs, but. I'm the only one that will eat them. Chris will eat them too, but... Oh, this is the roto towel that I like to get just to mix in chili or just mix into something for 50 cents. 50 cents, you guys. Um, tomato paste, 50 cents. Oh, look at this. In case you're lazy and don't want to make your own enchilada sauce, 50 cents. The green one I buy, I don't buy the red one because I like to make the red one. The green one I'm not too jazzed about all the time, so I'm not going to... I'll buy, if I saw the green I buy, I bought, I bought some green stuff. Um, look at this, sardines, 60 cents. Savory pot roast, $1.20. Oh, chili mac looks good. I'm going to get a couple of these Chili Macs for $1.20. And these are the big old, these are those big old guys. Um, let's get a couple of savory pot roasts, too. For $1.20? Why not, right? Um, let's see. They got chicken chowder, but it's kind of busted up. I don't want to get that. Um, Chili ready onions and tomatoes. See, this is where I got the and the bit. tomato sauce are already um, traditional. I always get a couple of those when I come of the can. Because I've got 3,000 pounds of pasta, y'all. Alright. Okay. See, they, sometimes this is full and sometimes it's not. Oh, 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 oh. Grated coconut. Oh, they raised it to $2. It's okay. I'm going to get some. I have some Mylar bags, but um, coconut is just, it's just awesome to have. So I'm getting it. I only got a few. Hey, 
50 for 12 rolls. Should I get it? I think I'm going to. Okay, and then here is the discount. These are croutons for 40 cents. And this is what I use to make Jeremy's chicken nuggets. And then they have French vanilla equal, 45 cents for 80 packets. And then here they have coffee for two dollars and thirty cents. I got a lot of coffee. And I don't drink coffee. It was for Charlie. And we have mixed sweet mixed pickles for fifty five cents. I'm gonna take those, but I think I need another basket. Kosher dill for fifty five cents. Ninety five cents for the big jar. And relish. 75 cents. Alright, I need another card. garden don't grow. Teriyaki, beef jerky, a dollar twenty-five. I'm gonna get a couple because my Christopher likes that stuff. We have all natural for forty-five cents. Tomato sauce, um, Carolina vinegar, sweet and tangy, for forty-five cents. Why not? And barbecue sauce for six. I know, I'm just free. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, yummy worms, 45 cents. I wanna get those for Jeremy. Oh, they got raisins, 35 cents. Oh, cinnamon, rice, right. 80 cents. Tickets. And they have this down here for ten dollars. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten boxes. So a dollar a box for the um oh, oh eleven ounce box. Okay, let's go on the other side. Let's see what That's my first card. <laughs> Why is it still blinking? Okay. Anyway, look it. I found nobody could find crackers. These are um, 60 cents a box. And you get two big rows for 60 cents. I got other stuff, but the camera died. And since crackers are hard to find, I'm going to take a lot of them. Not sure how many, but I did get A1 sauce. I got A1 sauce for a dollar. So we are on our way to Wally World. We went to two Amish stores. Um, I didn't take my camera into the second one. I don't like to intrude on them too much. Um, the first one was the major discount store, you know, and, um, I showed you a little bit, but I will have boxes when I get home, and you can see, um, everything that I got, and what price 
they do? I'm like, dang. So, cut the bill in half to make the dog food and cats with myself. So, we're going to Walmart to get some chicken and thigh. Okay, so I cannot um, put all this up on the table all nice and pretty like I want to. Okay, we're going to do box by box because to do that is just insanity for me right now. Okay, so these ketchups were $1.30 a piece. They're Heinz, and um, I got everything that was on the shelf because my Christopher goes through ketchup like nobody's business. So I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ketchups that are how many how many ounces does that say right there on the bottom? How many ounces? Right. Uh, two, six ounces. No, that's not six ounces. Thirty eight ounces. Better, better, better. Okay. So I got um two, four, eight of those. Alright. I got for two dollars and fifty cents. They're in another box. But I did get um like four of these, I think. Four or six at two dollars and fifty cents a piece. And they had these my boys love these wafers. They were only seventy five cents. At the dollar store, they're dollar twenty-five, so I just got them because the boys will eat them. They love them. It's and I got, yeah, it's storming out here, y'all. I got two of these at sandwich dressing. Me and Christopher like to try different stuff. Okay, so I got two of those, and those were uh, sixty cents a piece. And then these were fifty cents a piece. Pepper sauce. So got that. This was fifteen cents. Cranberry. Anytime I see these, I snag them. Okay, this one was um, 40 cents for Thai style chili sauce. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And I got this bag of noodles just because it was only 65 cents, and I love cooking with these noodles. So much you could do with them, they're a lot of fun. Okay, then we got cornbread mix. 25 cents for each bag, and I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five of them. And Jeremy likes these orange drinks. They were only 50 cents a piece. I love them. I drink them in one sip. Yeah, well, they're um, 32 ounces. They were 50 cents a piece. So, so we got one, two, I don't know, two, four, six so far over here. Okay, and then we got one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, um, Alfredo and broccoli, and these were 50 cents a piece, and these are all the same, so I got, for 50 cents, shoot, yeah, I got them. Alright, and then we got, um, croutons, um, Texas toast croutons, 65 cents a piece, I did end up finding some on the discount aisle, but I got these anyway for 65 cents. You know, why not? So I got one, two, three, um, four, five, six, seven, tex eight Texas toast. There's eight total. And um, I'll leave one or two bags, but um, I grind it up and use it for Jeremy's um, uh, chicken nuggets because they just taste good like that. There's two, four, two, four, six, there's eight of those, okay? Okay, and then I got, okay, I got Idaho mashed potatoes. Now, I've got, you guys, I've got potatoes coming out my ears, all my lower bags. Like, I can't even tell you how many, a lot. But, this is. 13.75 ounces makes 18 and a half cup, 18 servings, one half cup is a serving. Remember what I told you about servings. 70 cents. It's a pretty good size box. 18, 18, a serving is a side dish. It ain't no meal. Okay. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. 70 cents a piece. I got, I don't like hamburger helper, but Christopher does. And for 50 cents, I got a tuna one and the cheesy fajita one. I'll make those for him. I probably might taste it 
but I won't eat it. Mm -mm, I don't want that stuff, man. Whoever designed Hamburger Helper, they had some cooking issues. All right. Uh, macaroni, craft and cheese. I paid a dollar for these because they're family size. They're big. And so, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six of those. Okay. Uncle Ben can boil in a bag rice, which I've never bought before, I don't think. A dollar a piece. And 15.8 ounces in non-GMO right there. So I got four of those. And then my Jeremy loves Cheez-Its. And these were a dollar seventy-five for the big family size. And yeah, they're both a dollar seventy-five for the family size. And I bought two of these though. I do like the Velveeta skillets. This was a dollar twenty-five broccoli and chicken, thirteen point six ounces. I got two of those. Now, at the Amish discount store, I get this 50-pound bag of potatoes, $15, a huge bag, and um, my boys eat them. They eat potatoes like crazy, so I buy fresh, and we eat fresh, but the other ones um, that are um, all in Mylar bags, anything Mylar bags will not be touched until they have to be, so I try and, you know, use what I bring in each month to cook to feed them with and they're ready to be planted too they even got little little roots coming out of all of them so what I do is I'll get one I'll cut the end off that has most of the roots on it and that'll go for the for um, um, to grow them and then the other half I'll, I'll um, what do you call it um, peel it and cut it up okay all right here's another box now, this I got at Walmart. I don't know. I think I paid two bucks for it. Because um, my Christopher's getting his Chinese food during the apocalypse, okay? And we got some sesame seed, which I'm really kind of not too happy about. I think I paid two or three dollars for this. I could have got this at the Amish for a couple of bucks. I'm so bad. I love, I make my own red sauce. But my green sauce doesn't come out as good as I like this. So I bought a couple of these cans. I can... That can will be like, I can make that be like four meals. And they had this. Um, banner sausage, it's already made. I'm going to try it. I'm not sure. Um, my Christopher actually will try it. I'm not sure if he'll like it, but I mean, they were $1. seventy, I think. So I bought four of them for him. Okay, so I got two, two of them enchiladas. They're like two bucks or something anyway. They're not that expensive. Oh my goodness. Oh, this popped open. I brought these breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs at the Amish. I paid 75 cents for them. And something heavy was on because it busted open the bottom. I'm going to have to bag those up right away. Alright, I'm going to put them over here for now. Alright. So, see, look at You can see it's spilled on the cans. It happened. Okay. Egg white magic. 15 cents. I got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight of them. Well, what is it? What do you do with it? I don't know, you guys. Directions. Empty packet into. I'll read it later. I'll. You know what? We'll make one. I'll do a video and I'll use one of them. Okay. I just saw egg white and I said, heck yeah, that's for me. Cause I only eat egg white. Okay. And then I got two. I don't have any green olives, and so I bought two of these. These I got at Walmart, and these were. I don't know, a dollar something. I got me two of those. Okay, now we're back at the Amish. Um, 75 cents, I got another big thing of mustard. And for 75 cents, I got some um, butterscotch for ice cream. Now, I got two of these. They had more. I might go back and get more. But it's Or Oro's Rico. This is three pounds of rice. It's rice. It's just another kind of rice. Okay, if you like rice, you like those. I got two of those. They were a dollar a piece for three pounds, y'all. And they had two of these. I love when they have these. These are so good, you guys. They're amazing. I don't know how much they cost in the store, but I bought like ten of them last time. I think there's two left. So I saw these, so I snagged them for two bucks. All right. So let's see what's over here. Uh, more hot chili beans. 
And bought oh spicy fat free reef fried beans. I bought a couple. I, I make my own beans and stuff and I do buy those in the bag, but sometimes like green chili reef fried beans. I wanna try it. Never had that. Oh mac and cheese. Sixty cents a can. I bought all of them. All these are let me see. Oh, I'm gonna empty this box out. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Fourteen mac and cheese. Oh no, four, twelve. And then I got two, and they were sixty cents a piece. And I got two mini ABC one two threes for sixty cents a piece. And that's mac and cheese. And again, another stir fry vegetable. And I got some sliced pears. And those were seventy cents. Some more vegetables. And I did get some peach for a peach cobbler, or peach pie, whatever. Those were dollar fifty. They were a little bit more pricier. Oh. And yeah, peach dollar fifty. I paid for those. And I got some pears. Okay, and we got two cases of water. I don't know, there's what thirty-two in each one or forty-eight in each one. Anyway, we got two of those. And I also got these at the Amish. These are what they used to make um, ice cream sandwiches. There was um, the chocolate ice cream wafer bars. They're five dollars and six cents. There's a hundred and twenty six no, let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, thirty six. There's about 40, maybe 50 in here. And so for $5, me and Jeremy are going to make a whole bunch of ice cream sandwiches. Because we love those. And I did get this. I know I can do my own. Parsley flakes. Paid $1.99 for 13.24 ounces. And I got um, dill seed. Because I'm going to make my own dill pickles this year. And that dollar seventy seven and that is for price per pound so I guess it's a dollar I don't even know how much is in here y'all it ain't no pound oh point five nine so it's like quarter of a pound something like that I also went to the dollar store I got a hand one of these um because when electricity don't work you're gonna want one buck at the dollar store and these are the plastic, they come two in a, in a thing, plastic cutting boards. You might want to get those, okay? And then at the Amish, they were selling the buckets that they use for 50 cents. You know, you can get them free at the store, but I said 50 cents, why not? So I got that bucket, and then I got these two square ones. Because I got stuff to put in them, y'all. Okay. And I bought some corned beef hash, but I wanted to try this kind because Christopher really loves it. I don't know why, but he does. Um, so I bought him. T I did this I got at Walmart. And I also got, I know a lot of you guys aren't into pork, but I, I'm not so much either. But I got turkey. If you have not tasted this turkey, it is good, you guys. I'm going to put it back in the fridge. I'll put it out there. We'll make them. Cookie. Some cookie dough fell out when we were putting the groceries over in the freezer. <laughs> he found it. Thank goodness he found it. We're gonna we'll make some cookies. Anyway, I, I make it ahead of time and I bag it in baggies and you know that way we just have to take it out, let it thaw, and cook them. Anyway, I bought two of these and I have more than that, but let me. I think this tastes better than the other one. So they're a couple bucks. They're really tasty, y'all. All right. Now I ended up getting. Four of these. I got two at all these, two ninety eight or two ninety seven, and then I got two more at Walmart for two ninety seven or something like that. Christopher likes these in the Marine Corps. What they do, they they get them and eat them like that raw. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is, but that's how they eat them. All right. So also at the um, at the Amish, they have these sanitizing kits, and I'm not into the whole you know 
Y'all know I ain't into that. However, if you ever need to have one of these, it's, it's nice to have it in your vehicle, just you know, or in your bug out bag. It doesn't hurt to have sanitary stuff for other reasons. I don't do it for their stupid. <laughs> I don't buy into their garbage. Okay. Now I bought these were on the sale aisle. These were forty cents. They're ranch uh, croutons. And I got, hold on, I need your help. So I got one, two, three. Uh, I, I went and got a box. Jeremy's half of me right now. Anyway, I got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, really ranch croutons for 40 cents a piece. And um, again, I grind them up and I use them for his um, chicken nuggets. Okay, now, um, this I got on sale, on the sale aisle. It's $1.25, no sugar added, Jiffy, I got two of those. And every time I see any kind of pasta, this is pasta sauce, no added sugar. So I got one, two, three of those. I got Vandy Camp's pork and beans. One, two, I got four of those. Now, I know some of y'all don't eat pork. My Christopher does. I, I can't change his life. I can only change mine, okay? Um, and I got some green chilies. I don't know what I paid for those. Actually, I think I got these. I think I got these. All these, maybe. The green chilies. Okay, lunch meat. Um... Yeah, I think I got these at Aldi's, too, for a couple of bucks. Y'all know what Aldi's prices are. And, no, well, I actually got, yeah, okay. And then I got um, some, this is from the Amish, 70 cents for some cherry half filling. And, yeah, some of the cans are dented, but so what? I use them. Some more stir-fry vegetables. And I got, these were only 50 cents. And now that I think about it, it's probably just half a can. But Christopher likes these. He does. He'll he'll down them and like you know he'll just snack on them all day. So I I got them for him. And then we got some more little vegetables and Hormel chili. These were fifty cents. I bought four of those. Might be a waste, but I don't care. I got them for my Christopher. And this was ninety cents for a big um, twenty eight ounce crushed tomatoes. I use a lot of canned tomatoes you guys and some more this is spicy jalapeno for 50 cents some more mac and cheese some more mac and cheese oh I got a lot of mac and cheese man and some more stir fry vegetables 60 cents another green chili um hormel chili less sodium no beans 48 cents 50 cents I found a carnation evaporated milk and corned beef hash. I think I got the corned beef hash um, at Aldi's. I want to say Aldi's. Y'all know Aldi's prices probably. Another. I bought. They about four corned beef hashes. And I bought an apple apple pie filling for a dollar twenty-five. Uh oh, something dropped. Okay, next box. I got two of these, 55 cents a piece, and it says real almonds, and they're just like, I don't know, pinwheel cookies. They look good. For 55 cents, I got two. I got tempura um, batter mix, 50 cents. Shake and bake, 40 cents. I bought four. They have more, but I just grabbed four. I know y'all say, make your own, make your own. Well, I can make my own, but... If other people are here, maybe they can't. These were a dollar and ten a piece because they're the large, chunky paste salsa. I love that stuff. I like my own, but you guys, I like other people's food. I get tired of my food. Um, we got Jello for twenty cents a piece for raspberry Jello. I got one, two, three, five, five of them. I got five of them. 20 cents a piece, heck yeah. That's a steal right there. Bargain. Now, I may, I can make my own chili, but I'm going to try this chili kit for 75 cents. They had more, but I just got the one. And this is pizza dough 
crust, Jiffy, 30 cents. And I got another salt there. Now these are the other bags of beans. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 14, 16, 17. And what's in the other one? I probably got 20 all together. Um, I'm going back there. I might just go get the rest of them because we do eat those because they're delicious. Alright, 75 cents. I got reduced fat Cheez Its. I got three of them. And then I love <laughs> my baby days. I love these vanilla wafers. And they were only 75 cents. And I know my Christopher and Jeremy both love donuts. And these were $1.75 at the Amish. I got two of those. Now, when I was at Bobby's, they had these big bags of um, garden soil for three ninety four, I think. So I bought I bought two of them. You know, I thought, shoot, that's a good price. I thought. Now I bought these for. Look at my potatoes; they're ready to be grown. Some of them are getting really super soft. I gotta get them out there, but it won't stop raining, man. It's like storming. Look at, look at all my potatoes ready to go. Anyway. I got this at not an Amish discount store, a different discount store. Six bucks, and you got twelve. And they're um, they're some kind of a uh, they're Japanese style noodles, and they have like you put um, they have little packets inside you put it. Anyway, I don't I just get chicken stock and put it in there. But Christopher likes these. I bought these for like six bucks, and you got twelve. I bought two cases of those. But I bought like 20 cases of this other stuff. I'm going to have to show it to you. Okay, and I also got these at the Amish. For $5, you get two. Uh, the ones at the dollar store are a lot smaller than these. And I use these to put, um, you know, condiments, or not condiments, but like, um, you know, like uh, gravy mixes and, you know, things that I get in the, you know, that I you know, get, I end up eat my bagging them and stuff, but I want to be able to label it and not put it in a big old bucket with a bunch of other stuff, because I'm having trouble finding stuff, y'all. Okay, and then at the Amish, I got this big bag for $8.25 of dog food, and it weighs 33 pounds for $8.25. got this one for $3.25 for 15 pounds beef, chicken, and cheese flavors. Now, my dogs eat normally a raw food diet, but I do a couple times a week give them the hard food. But I try and give them fresh, fresh, fresh chicken. <laughs> and I got this big, um, gallon, how many, I don't know, it's big, it's um, a big gallon, big, big number 10 can for $3.40 for pork and beans and tomato sauce, because I know I'm going to be sharing food, and people, you know, they, a lot of people don't care about the whole pork deal, so, bought that, and we bought, we bought three bags of cat food at Aldi's, because we got 11 cats to feed, 16 pounds a bag, and each one was $8.99 or $8, something like that. I got three of those. They didn't have any canned food, y'all. I'm having trouble finding me some canned food for my babies. So I'm having to make my own. And I found some mason jars at the Amish. They were $13.75 for the quart jars. Yes, that's pricey, but Walmart don't got them. So I got them. And I fermented some um, lemons. Love the way they came out. So I got another bag, $3.75 at all these. So we're going to be doing that. A lot of projects going on here. Okay, and at the other discount store I go to, it's not an Amish discount store, it's a discount store. I got two cases of these. These are chicken, chicken Vienna sausages. And Christopher, he went through this whole case. He went through a whole case of these last month. So I went and bought two. They're $12.50, which makes them 50 cents a piece. So I just bought two cases of those because they're... They're delicious. They're good. So these are the lemons that I fermented. This is one of them. And they look amazing. Just amazing. There we 
we go. I had all kinds of stuff up here, y'all, but these are the lemons that I did, and um, they look amazing. I did two of them, so I'm going to do an, um, another one. Yeah. I know how you guys like buy your cheese and stuff. I got dishes everywhere, y'all, because I was gone all day. But anyway, I got this one, the marble cheese, for $22 at the Amish. And I love Monterey Jack, and I got this um, one for uh, $20. And I get them, and I cut them into, um, um, you know, slices into, into chunks that I, I can cook with. And I don't know how many pounds this is. Um, anyway, they're big blocks. They're bigger than what you get at Walmart, that's for sure. And then at Aldi's, Aldi's has as the freshest bread I've ever had in my life. It is amazing. And it's like 79 cents or 89 cents. So I, bought, I buy like six of those. And then Jeremy likes hot dogs. So he threw, he threw a box on top of this and it kind of smashed him a little bit. And I yelled and I was so mad. But hot dog buns are 89 cents and hamburger buns same. And they're delicious, you guys. They are so tasty. Alright, and I got seven of these. Turkey breakfast sausage, you guys. It tastes as good as the pork. I'm telling you, it has a kick to it. It's amazing. I don't even like the pork one anymore after buying this. I started buying these like two years ago. And I bought these. I bought seven of these to can. And I bought seven ground turkey for any meal to can. So we are going to be canning the chicken that I'm boiling on the stove right now. Um, no, that's actually going to be for the cat food. Sorry. I'm going to get two more bags tomorrow because Walmart only had two. So I'm going to go to Woods up here and get two more. And I want to can two bags of chicken. I want to can seven cans of um, turkey sausage and seven cans of um, ground turkey. And my own mushroom soup starter. Cream of mushroom starter. Okay. I have to clean the jars. I forgot. I put what you call it in it, but I guess I didn't put enough because you can see all the, all the white on the jars. Anyway, this is um, mushroom, onion, and garlic in water, and I put them in a big old pot, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quarts, and then three pints. I had, actually I had five pints, but I used two last night to make some scalp potatoes. Oh my God, you guys. All you do is you make your roux with the flour, you don't even have to do that if you're using cream, okay, milk and stuff, but I didn't have any milk. I only had a can of, of um, um, condensed milk, so um, I opened up two of them. I made my roux with the flour and the, and the oil. I did like four tablespoons, and because I was making a big batch because Christopher loves scalp potatoes. And, um, and then once that browned up a little bit, I threw two of these in, and, um, and then I threw in the milk the evaporated milk and then the potatoes and then the we did hamburger and ground hamburger with onion and garlic y'all and it cooked out right on my stovetop no bacon right right with the um on the stovetop in my cast iron pan with the lid on it so delicious y'all anyway um i welma well gosh what is her her name welma homestead or welma something if i can find her i'll put a link but she does some pretty awesome stuff you know she's a young girl and um i saw her do this and i was like she's like well you can't make it thick with flour well a lot of people don't you know and i've i've reveled and done a couple things but i prefer to do things the right way too so she says it's better just to get the starter done and then all you have to do is add the milk or the roux or whatever so i copied her and yeah i made all that you can learn stuff from these ladies on here, okay? I don't care how old they are. Some of these girls got some ideas. This here, this here is my my chicken, my my bone broth. I made me some bone broth, and I got another six over here on this side. But um, what you do is you just cook that. You just cook it. You cook it for as long as it takes, six to twelve hours, whatever. And when you can it and you go to use it, it's like a gel. It is so healthy for you and so good. I had made some chicken soup as well. And so I canned that. And that's, um, I was able to get two. We didn't need it. And then this is vegetarian chile verde with um, zucchini. You can see the zucchini in there. Um, 
I canned two of those, but one of them popped open. So I, I had to dump it. So mad. Because that stuff is awesome. Okay, so um, when I bring home the cat food, um, I these we got, they came with litter in them, right? But we've used the litter. And these are really good containers. So what we do is we take the bed, because the cats, they don't care. They'll rip right through this if they're hungry. So, and not only that, we save these bags. We got a ton of them because they're better than your garbage bags. And so I fill all these up. There's like one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got one, one over here, six. They're all full of cat food. And then we are in the middle of filling these ones right here up with dog food. So we got more dog food to do. And um, then we save all the bags. Save them. They're going to be worth. They're going to be worth their weight in gold when you need them.